A new poll has been released that shows increased support of Scottish independence. Uh, if we can look at the graphic now. What we can see is from the 5th to the 11th of November, a poll by panel base shows 51% support for yes and 40% for no. That is a lead of 11%. It is, it, that, is that is huge. Um, you can see there's a consistent increase from the last couple of months in support of yes, um, going from around 45% up to 51%. I think this is excellent. Uh, I used to be a believer in federal Britain, but now, no, I think that the Scottish people should leave. They voted to stay in the European Union. They're dragged out of the European Union because of Britain. They're also sick and tired of the Conservatives being a power in England. And just, they probably don't think there's gonna be a Labour government anytime soon. And they're probably right. I can't see a Labour government for a very long time. Now, what has been the reaction, reaction sorry, from the main political parties? Well, the Conservatives com completely oppose a referendum, unsurprisingly. What's interesting, though, is that Boris Johnson was caught saying that the devolution to Scotland was a disaster, and actually, it was Tony Blair's biggest mistake. Uh, not that half a million people were murdered because of Iraq, because the Scottish people were allowed to have a bigger voice. So that tells you all about the Conservatives, tell you all about Boris Johnson. Now the Labour Party, their view is they don't support an independence referendum until 2026. I don't know why it's 2026. I don't know where that date come from. Um, but that's their view and I think it's a mistake. Look, at the end of the day, the Labour Party are not making any roads in Scotland. They got wiped out in 2015. Okay, they got wiped out. They're not coming back. The SNP support is not going to go away anytime soon. It won't, it, I can guarantee there will be no loss in support for the SNP as long as Scotland are in the United Kingdom. The Labour Party, if I'm honest, the Labour Party should take a bit more of a soft stance on this. The anti-independence, or they don't even need to be pro-independence, just, just allowing a referendum. They should be soft on it because it's clear that their hardline view with the Conservatives is not working. Also, the Better Together campaign where the Labour Party and the Conservatives campaign on the same platform, that was a, that was a disaster as well. Because if people are angry at the fact that they're being ruled by the Conservatives and they want to leave, and you've got a Labour Party, you know, very recently was on the same campaign to, to stay, it's not going to do any well for the Labour Party. Now, the funny thing is, if Scotland were to leave, I actually think there's an opportunity for a radical left-wing uh, Scottish Labour Party to make a re-emergence because the debate won't be about Scottish independence, but it will be about domestic policy. Now they can tack the SNP on their record. They seem to be quite a progressive party, but they're really not. So the Labour Party can nail them on domestic issues. They can offer a radical left-wing or radical social democratic economic populist package. And they could get support there if Scotland were to leave. I think they will leave, and I think that the Labour Party's response is, is terrible. Um, they're clearly not reading the mood at all. They're just making themselves look pro-establishment, and to be honest, under Keir Starmer, <laughs> it is pro-establishment. Um, but I think this is fantastic for the Scottish people. I completely back it. Uh, I hope you get your independence. Good for you.